we're finally here, like a year later. <laughs> Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry friends, like I actually owe you guys an apology. I have literally been promising this video for like a whole year and I'm only uploading it now. Like. <laughs> It's actually quite embarrassing if I'm being honest. But never mind, we're here now and that's all that matters, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, today's video consists of 12 different ab workouts and we're gonna be doing each exercise for 20 seconds. And what I normally do then is I will repeat the circuit another two times. So doing the circuit three times in total. This routine also involves no equipment so you can do it at home, you can do it in the gym, you can literally do it absolutely anywhere. Pull over on the side of the goddamn street and do it if you want to. So I personally try and do an ab circuit at the end of most of my workouts. Now, of course it doesn't happen at the end of every workout, but I do try and do an ab circuit as many times in the week as I possibly can. Another thing is that obviously, you know, I change up my circuits and I change up my routine so I don't get bored and fed up with the same few exercises. But yeah, there are so many of these ab routines I can show you guys if you're interested. If you want ab routines, lower body routines, upper body routines, full body workouts, um, cardio workouts. If you would like to see more fitness content from me in the future, please do let me know and exactly what you would like down in the comments below. But yeah, with all that said, let's just dive right on in and get on to the long, long, of weighted ab workout. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna be starting with bicycles and I like to do these slow and controlled. When I first started working out, I used to do these super fast, but I find them much more effective if you do them slow and controlled because you're really giving your abs a chance to work then. So next we're gonna move on to alternating legs or flutter kicks. And for this one, I like to keep my legs as straight as I possibly can and also keeping my back super straight. Um, this one absolutely kills. Like I cannot explain it to you, like the pain in my face, but oh yeah, it kills. Now we're gonna move on to the plank and that is pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure you guys all have heard of the plank. Um, but yeah, for this one, you just wanna make sure that your body is level. When I first started doing these, I used to have my bum up super high in the air, but that is like the complete wrong form. So just make sure you're watching your form on this one. So next we're gonna move on to toe touches or alternating arm to leg. So basically for this one, you're pretty much just gonna to wanna to touch your toes. I actually have really long legs and struggle to touch my toes. So I just touch as far down my leg as I possibly can. So pretty much where my ankle is. Um, but yeah, you can really feel these, like, oh my God. So now we're gonna move on to the jackknife and this is an amazing exercise for your abs, it's insane. But I actually really struggled when I first started doing this exercise, mainly because it does involve a lot of balance as well as anything else. <laughs> but yeah, I find once you master it, it is super simple. So now we're gonna move on to ankle taps. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but basically all you're gonna to wanna to do is touch down the side of your foot as far as you possibly can and then keep alternating between each side. Now we're gonna move on to Russian twists. So this is a super popular exercise. Um, and instead, if you don't wanna hold your hands together, you can add a weight um, for extra resistance. But yeah, this is a fab exercise. going to move on to the spider-man plank and the way I like to think of this one is that I'm trying to touch my elbows with my knees so basically you're going to want to lift your leg up as high as you possibly can now my bum is up a little bit too high in this one god damn Jesse get your bum down but you basically want to recreate the plank position for this exercise now I know this is more of a yoga move and I know I look absolutely mental doing it, but this exercise is amazing for tightening and toning your abs, I find. So you're basically just gonna wanna breathe in, hold that breath for as long as you possibly can and then slowly breathe out. But yes, I adore this bad boy. So now we're moving on to mountain climbers, an all time classic. So you're just gonna wanna lift your knees up as high as you possibly can when you're doing this exercise. It's also a great one to get your heart pumping and get that blood flowing around your body. <laughs> Now 
Now we're going to move on to the alternating plank. Well, that's what I like to call it. But yeah, pretty self-explanatory again. You're just going to be going from the plank position up into your hands. And now this one is a killer. And I still struggle on this exercise to this day. You can really feel it in your abs and you can also really feel it in your upper body. Now we're gonna move on to donkey kicks. And for this one, we're not actually gonna do this one for 20 seconds. We're just gonna do 10 reps on either leg. And um, this is a great exercise. I find you really need to concentrate though and keep it controlled because when I first started doing this exercise, I used to fly through them and it really wasn't effective at all. You really need to be in control of that exercise. So yeah. friends that's the end of today's video i would love to know how you got on if you did give this a try please do let me know down in the comments below but yeah i'm so excited to get creating some more fitness content for you guys i feel like now that i'm finally on the road you know i've gotten on the road so it's going to be easier to keep going down the road um but yes thank you so much for watching i love you all so very much and i will see you all in my next video Mwah. bye bye friends